Hey guys, Matt Baker, the co-founder of the HMO platform, and welcome to our very first fridge whiteboard session. Welcome to my fridge, and we're going to be doing a bit of a chat today around um, finance, and in particular, looking at the difference between yield and uh, return on cash invested. Because as investors, the key thing that we look at is the return on cash that shows how hard our cash is working. But a lot of people use the word yield. And what, what does that really mean? Because it can mean different things to different people. So I just wanted to do a couple of quick examples um, to show you the difference between yield and return on cash uh, and uh, you know, why one is better than the other generally, but why yield is actually really important when we're working out the value of next level HMOs. So first of all, let's take a look at yield. Now yield is how well a, an asset performs and it will look at the income of that asset uh, versus the, the, the value of that asset. So um, generally you will look at the, the income first. So let's say we take a property that turns over £10,000 a year and let's say that property um, is worth £100,000. that would be the formula to work out the yield. So we times it by 100, gives us a percentage, and that basically would be a 10% yield. 10% yield is pretty good. Uh, it's about our average for the UK. Now, that's if we bought the property for cash, how hard our cash will be working for us. Um, but we're generally gonna use a mortgage and we're generally gonna have expenses for operating a property. So if we have a look at our return on cash, or our Rocky, our return on cash invested, a similar formula, we're gonna be looking at the profit uh, this time. So how much money do we profit every single year? So let's say um, this property turns over 10,000 uh, pounds, but we only take home about 8,000 pounds at the end of the year, because we've got 2,000 pounds worth of costs. Um, how much money have we got in that property? So if we're looking at this property of £100,000, um, how much are we going to put in there? How much cash are we going to put in? We might put in, let's say, a 25% uh, deposit or a 20% deposit. Um, let's put in a £24,000 deposit, just to make this math relatively straightforward. Um, so now we have £8,000 profit. and 24,000 pounds cash gives us a return on cash of was eight divided by 24, that's a third, so it's 33%. So instantly, we can see that by using leverage, by using a mortgage and just putting in a essentially a 25% deposit, um, we get a higher return on our cash than just buying it cash itself. So the return on cash is much more useful because that shows how hard the cash is working. It's the real profit and the real cash that we put in. So this is why as property investors, we generally will love the Rocky. However, when we're working out the end value of a property, when it's a commercial property and a commercial valuation, we're gonna be looking at the yield to give us that end valuation. So how do we do that? So, I'm um, coming back to yield again. I'm gonna show the formula. So it was um, turnover divided by property value. And that will give us our yield. Now let's say that we know let's get a different color. Let's go red. Let, let's say that we know the yield for the area for this type of property, and we know the turnover of our property. We've got two out of the three variables, which means that um, we can then work out what the value of the property is. 
So all we need to do is a little bit of algebra, a little bit of jiggery pokery. Um, and uh, if anyone who knows algebra, it means we can just swap these two and then we've got the correct formula. So we have turnover divided by the yield will give us the property value. So that's why yield for commercial properties and next level HMOs is really important. So we want to be looking at the yield, but then once we know what the end value is, and then we go back and we look at our return on cash because we're not going to put all that money in ourselves and then we see how we can leverage to get the highest return possible. So um, that was the end of my first fridge session, fridge finance session or fridge whiteboard session, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I hope that was of value to you um, looking at finance and how we distinguish between yield and return on cash. Have a fantastic rest of the day.